guys, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I just wanted to give tons of time for all these plants to grow and stuff, and I have some new plants to show you too, but we'll do those at the end. <clears throat> so, um, my Venus flytraps have officially gone dormant. There's only, like, one leaf sticking out of the, the grown one, and, um, those leaves are dying, and the pitcher plant is, the leaves are starting to die off, too. So, I'm gonna have to put this in the fridge because they froze a couple of times, but, but they're pr pretty tough. They're staying alive. And, um, my cat came in my room and knocked them over, so now there's a big mess that I have to clean up. Well, that's what cats are for. They make messes for you to clean up. So, um, there hasn't been much with the baby Nepenthes. It's just, it's just slowly growing. But, um, anyway, all of the fruit flies have died because... I have them by the window seal, like it said, and... Oh, wait, no, there's there's still some in there. I, they were just hiding in the warmer places, I guess. So, um, this is another Dune Craft kit I got for Christmas. By the way, I hope that all of you guys had a great Christmas. So, I got a eucalyptus seeds growing. They're really, really tiny. And I got some chia seeds growing in here which did, did didn't come with the kit i just decided to plant them because they look cool i got some asparagus there are too many plants with the name asparagus i don't even know which one is actually asparagus anymore that really confuses me and they've also got this flower thing that i can't pronounce so hopefully those grow and I do hope they grow, because every time I get a Doomcraft kit, nothing grows. So, here's a terrarium I got for Christmas. I already put the dirt and stuff in here. I put I planted cheese seeds and grass seeds in there. It'll be pretty cool when they grow. And um, a new cool thing I got was this Venus flytrap in tissue culture. If you guys don't know what tissue culture is, it's basically like gel that you put a leaf of a plant in and it grows, I guess. I'm not sure, but it's pretty cool. Got a nice little Venus flytrap in there. I will plant that with the other Venus flytraps in the spring. When they all wake up and stuff. So, and possibly the coolest plant I have to show you that I got is an air plant. If you guys never heard of an air plant, they're basically these cool plants that don't have any roots whatsoever, and um, you can tell when they need water when their leaves turn white. As you can see, they're not white, they're greenish-reddish, which is exactly how it's supposed to be. And uh, they're pretty cool, I got this at um, Home Depot, yeah it was Home Depot, and it's really cool. So. That's all the weird plants I have. Well, not the weird plants. Well, this was the only really weird plant I had. So, yeah. That air plant up. And a lot has changed in here. Like, a lot. I need to spray in there real quick. So, um, a lot has changed. As you can see, the plant is growing. This one right here, the cutting is slowly growing. But I think it's mostly making roots, so that's why it's growing slow. And, um, this, this Nepenthes ventricosa has got two new leaves, and they look beautiful because they're not jacked up and stuff. And this one has, um, a pitcher that is about to open. It's this one right here. And it has brand new leaves and everything. So, that was that. Oh, yeah, and these are growing, too. They're doing pretty well. And I think I'm forgetting something. Yes, I am. So, here's this. Um, The plants in here are doing well, too. I don't have any mold yet. 
because for some reason, every time I try to grow cacti and succulents indoors, they always mold for some reason, but these haven't yet. So, um, that's it. If you liked this video, then, um, like the video. And, uh, I'm really tired for some reason, so, yeah, goodbye.